Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN, up here at 343 Industries. We are profiling Halo the Master Chief Collection all month long as part of IGN First. And uh, we're taking a look at all six of the anniversary Halo 2 remake maps with the original and current multiplayer lead designer on this, Max Hoberman. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, Ryan. I think my guys will yell at me if I took credit for being the lead on this. It is my company, but uh, <laughs> we actually have uh, D Dave Mertz, who actually has Fair a long, long history working on the Halo stuff, is our lead on this, design lead on this project. Well, you did, you are the original, uh, of course, I was Halo involved in two some of this stuff, yeah. Lead and designer. I have to call out Steve Young, who was our level design lead on this stuff, too. So, well, shout, shout out to the guys at Certain Fan. Absolutely. That's, that's my only plug. <laughs> All of this is looking great, these yeah. six. So that we've got uh, these six maps, which are in addition, I know there's still been some confusion on this, in addition to the original complement of Halo 2 multiplayer maps as they originally were, these don't replace anything. It's all still there, plus these six as a bonus. And uh, we're looking at Sanctuary, yes. now called. Shrine. Shrine That's in right. uh, anniversary style. Yeah, this was, um, this. I think in the entire set, this was uh, one of, I'm allowed to say now, two of the uh, DLC maps. So four originals that shipped with uh, Halo 2, yeah. and then two DLC maps, and this was uh, one of the very best um, DLC maps, at least in my humble opinion. Um, and we were super excited to bring this one back. This one, this one was interesting. It was kind of a no-brainer when we were picking the maps. We really, you know, we really liked it. We really wanted some of that kind of classic, symmetric, base-oriented Halo maps. Absolutely. Well, let's and, walk uh, around, take a look at yeah. it, and uh, maybe we can talk about. I know. Uh, did you personally design this one, or was this? No, this uh, this map was actually designed uh, when I was working on Halo 2. I ended up hiring uh, an environment artist named Steve Cotton, who's part of our multiplayer team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll look go look around here again. Like, <laughs> this so looks th amazing. Yeah. This was actually designed by the original map by Steve Cotton. It was actually the first map that he designed, sort of all by his lonesome. Uh, you know, after yeah. we shipped the game, that he did a great job though. And uh, so we'll consider the skybox a tribute to Steve Cotton. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I yeah, see this, what you did there, and yeah, I like it, Max. This the Eastern Rise. There you go. Um, yeah, God, this this looks fantastic. Um, super excited about this. Um, and there's a couple other vistas on here. But back to the stuff that matters. That, yeah, that's always fun. It's always an awesome time when you're like for the environment artists working on these maps. The guys at Certain Infinity. Yeah. Whenever they watch like a video or something, and they watch and they see a player get killed because he had his back to the action, because he was just staring <laughs> at the sky. That's like this moment of awesome triumph. Oh, no doubt. I think it's going to happen a few so, times uh, right here. walk me back We should have called this Dead Man's Bluff <laughs> instead of Eastern We Rise. can unofficially christen it that right now. We have that power, yeah. I think. OK, sorry, so, back, to uh, the, back to the map. Yes. Uh, so back, you know, this, this definitely was one of the stars of the original uh, set of Halo 2 DLC. You know, it plays well on just about everything. I mean, it's a great CTF map. Um, oddball can be a treat here. Yeah. Uh, what what sort of what are your memories of this map in its original form? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember. Uh, I think this map better than than many of the others. Really, kind of just kind of went back to those kind of Blood Gulch, Beaver Creek type. You know, it's not it's not the same. It's very different. Yeah. It doesn't have vehicles. More like you know, I guess it's more like Beaver Creek in that sense. But it really kind of went back to that two base symmetric um, type design. But I thought that uh, Steve did a really good job of splitting the map down the middle, really kind of breaking the map into these two zones with these kind of control points, um, you know, these doorways and stuff, <laughs> while also creating this kind of this um, arena in the middle. I remember a lot of fun battles in here, roaming around this arena, fairly protected from the outside. Though. Right. Um, that's not. That's actually not an easy thing to do from a design standpoint. So. Oh, and then of course. I, uh, I remember putting the shotgun in here, intending this to be the uh, shotgun tunnel, creeping up on the base and grabbing the shotgun and walking. Give me really, that flag. Really, really slow. Stay off the radar. Really, really slow. Or crouching. <laughs> I prefer to just go really slow. But uh, you know, then go in there and nabbing the flag. So yeah, just I remember playing offense. Actually, funny enough, is what I think I loved most in a CTF game on this map. Wasn't the biggest fan of sitting back and playing D, but I love playing offense because there's just so many fun ways you could kind of sneak up on the base. You go here, you can, you know, you can charge through the middle, go for the fast, the blitz, I guess, go over here through the rock field. Um, but there's so much sneaking on this map. Right. Um, like if you if you weren't clever in your movement, if you didn't sneak and avoid, you know, showing up on radar and stuff, you were just, you, know, you were dead. Well, uh, part of the I guess defensive element, even or potentially offensive, is. 
all six of these maps, or I guess most of them you've said it, have, you've added some sort of interactive element. Yes. So on this map, yeah, I see a big yeah, glowing yeah, yeah. orange button what is that? on what? the ceiling. Who designed the lighting in this place? <laughs> right, so um, one of the, so this is a, this map was, I think, really strong, but I think it had some issues also. You, know, you can always make things better. One of the things that I felt, one of the things that was kind of frustrating on this map is a really good team could really lock down defense on here. And yeah. they could, they, if they really wanted to, you know, let's say they were ahead in a CTF map and all they want to do is just lock it down and wait out the timer. Right. They really could, and they would do that all from up here inside the base, you know, sometimes ranging out a little bit. But we, this one, we actually wanted to put a tool where the, um, the attackers could actually stop the base from being such a uh, such an effective uh, defensive nice. position. So you drop that water, and then all so of a sudden, good. all of a sudden, the guys who are in the base here, you know, all right. Imagine you're in the base trying to, you know, you got a battle rifle, and you're trying to shoot people from far. All of a sudden, you got to stick your neck out. You got to come right. out past that water. You got to expose yourself. You know, it's you, limited time. It's not forever. But so in your in your play tests now with uh, with shrine. There it goes. <laughs> It, when, when that gets tripped and you're outside trying to bust in, do you start hurling grenades oh, in there? Oh, of course. Do you fire rockets in there? I mean, do you just, yeah, yeah. trying to start, trying all, to just flush them out? All of the above. Absolutely. All of the above. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you know, because all, all of a sudden they can't see it coming as well. Um, oh, and there's another. So you can kind of see there's one on either side. Yeah. We'll, uh, try this sucker out. So there you go. And of course, it's intentional that you can trigger this thing from afar. You don't have yeah. to, you know, for obviously from in, inside the base, if the, if the defenders actually want. You know, I could imagine a, you know, an overpowered defender who's, let's say he's in here and he's getting sniped or something. He could just hit that thing and he all of a sudden he's got some a cover, cover also, yeah. right? So it kind of, you know, kind of works both ways. But, uh, you know, those are always the, the most fun things that have those emergent qualities where we, we don't, it's got advantages and disadvantages and we don't know exactly what people are going to do with it and how it's all going to pan out. See some more vistas back here. So pretty. We made a couple changes to the map too. Yeah, tell um, me. This was, this was a really big one, which is, if you guys recall back in the original, this was just a narrow tunnel. Once you were in here, you got the shotgun and you're creeping up on the base. You're, you're really committed unless you just want to back up through it. Right. We really wanted you to have more options here. And again, this has to do with giving you more viable options as an attacker. Or let's say you're the flag carrier and you're coming this route and there's, a, you know, there's someone there trying to block you, <laughs> yeah. trying to give you some viable options here. Nice. So we've got that little lift there and that, you know, that just gives you some more options. Um, that's a really big deal. I'm, I'm really happy with how that worked out. I had nothing to do with that one, by the way. I think that was all, that was probably all Steve Young. But uh, when he told me about it, I was like, damn, I wish I'd thought of that. That's a great <laughs> idea. Um, so yeah, that's new. It behaves properly with grenades, that's good. Um, Any other oh, little tweaks? Yes, yes, there's another. There's a, so we worked really hard to preserve all these, you know, all the sort of trick jumps and skill jumps and stuff like that. Um, but we also, this was another place where you're kind of forced through this doorway and you really don't have a lot of good options besides and you know, get the hell out of Dodge and go a different way. Um, I think there was some, I think there might have been a way to do this as a really challenging skill jump, but you know, this sort of thing made it a lot easier. Nice. You just pop right up there, that kind of thing. And then this one, and this, this, this actually I think was my suggestion, but this was a big deal. So I placed all the weapons on here originally and uh, put a rocket. So originally there was a sword here floating in yep. the middle. I remember and, well. Well, I, I actually suggested that we change this to a rocket launcher. And the original sword, it, we felt that it really was a defensive weapon on this map. And what happened is people would get that sword and then they just go camp as a defender and it sort of exacerbate what was already a really challenging problem. Guilty as charged. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So we really thought, okay, you know what? I think it would be a lot more fun to turn this into a weapon that's a lot more useful on offense and kind of tip that map balance back to that point where, you know, attackers have a little bit more of a shot against uh, sort of entrenched defenders and solid defenders. So um, I, I'm really happy with that. I actually think that this is playing a hell of a lot better um, since we made that change. So I don't know how you feel about it. <laughs> We'll find out when we play. We're going to be playing a lot. Uh, we, we'll have gameplay footage, actually. If you just click the video right below this one, uh, you will see some straight gameplay yeah. footage of uh, Team uh, IGN versus Team 343. Max, thank you very much. Yeah. This map, we cannot wait to play this. Yeah, this one, of the six, awesome. one of the six. One of the six Halo really, 2 really happy with how this one anniversary out. remake maps. Um, I could, yeah, cool. I could stare at this map all day. <laughs> so we got to go. Stay all tuned right. all month long for uh, all things Halo the Master Chief Collection right here on IGN. All right, thanks, Ryan.